Hey, what's up? I'm Little Sims, and this is my Rolling Stone UK cover shoot. I've been given loads of great advice, but one that probably really stands out is uh, do more than a bare minimum. Like, you know, just, just push yourself that little bit more extra. Um, give as much as you can, try your best. Um, I think I think that's how you ensure growth. Acting for me is very similar in all art forms and just a sense of a storytelling. I write music, I like to tell stories through my art and I think acting is another form of storytelling. Whether I'm embodying, you know, a character that's so different from me as a person or a character that I can relate to in some sense, it's all just a form of storytelling. So I like bringing myself to, to that and being able to just channel, channel a different character and a different story. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of reading. I'm actually, uh, I actually made a book as well, um, which is which is coming very soon. I'm very excited about it. It's not autobiography. I'm not I'm not there yet in my life and my career, but it's 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 a very exciting project. And yeah, all this year I've just been kind of getting into different books. Um, one that really stood out, uh, probably The Road Less Traveled by Scott and Peck. Um, very, very great, insightful book. Learned a lot from it. I read now with a highlighter because uh, otherwise it doesn't stick. <laughs> so I have to make sure I go through it and I highlight just things that stand out to me anyway. Yeah, so I got a tattoo of number five from codename Kids Next Door. I got it done actually by this really amazing tattoo artist called Kaya. She tattoos at a tattoo studio called Masaki in West London. And I don't know, growing up, obviously, you know, I used to watch cartoons when I was younger and number five, I just always felt like that that was me. Just her, her style, her, her attitude, her flair. Um, I just kind of saw myself in that, in that cartoon character. So um, now it just, you know, it makes me think about my youthful days and how I've kind of grown into this person. And I just thought it looked cool as well. British TV shows that I watched or binged. Love Island. <laughs> yeah, Love Island. All summer, all summer. It's just, yeah, I think my life is very um, on the go. It's very busy, um, you know, the schedule's crazy at times. So when I get downtime, it's nice to just switch off a bit and just watch something a bit lighthearted and uh, not, not too serious. 2022 was a good year, actually. It was, um, yeah, full of a lot, a lot of highlights. I mean, highs and lows, that's the roller coaster of life. But all in all, I think it's been a really positive year. I think coming out of the space we were all in a few years ago um, definitely feels like it's 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 been a pick me up year. Um, so yeah, I'm really grateful for 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 everything that's that's come my way this year.